don't want it to be too long because this game I'm actually gonna have to listen to. Okay, right now this should be fine. Um, I hope the audio is fine. I'm not streaming, I'm just recording because in a bit I'm gonna have to watch the Syndicate stream. If you don't know anything, the game plays by then with Captain Sparkle, Sonya, and Jericho. So if you guys wanna check them out, go ahead. And now this is. Navy Field 2, which I have been playing for a little bit, and so it should not be. If you guys know Contact Collection, this game is, well, the concept of it is very similar, except there's no uh, cute little girls in it, so. Sucks for you guys. But anyways, it's basically World War 1 and World War 2 battleships, which we can, like, you know, get paired up with, well, you guys will see here in a moment, so see, look, I got matched up. And I hope you guys enjoy this because I've been playing this and I enjoy it immensely. So look, example number one, this is the Kagi uh, from Japan from 1927, which was the Actually, that was the World War I. See, look, as you can see, I'm the highlighting green. And. We'll get paired up against the opposing side. Which is pretty amazing. So look, we have cannons and everything. We have torpedoes. There will be slight lag because whenever I start up one game, the lag will like continue slightly. So I apologize about that in advance. I hope the frames for some the frames I get enough. Oh, there we go, enemy ship. The objective of this game is easy to capture their islands or sink all their ships. And as you see right now, I'm getting my ass handed. But luckily, um, I'm using a destroyer, which is... Oh, oh shit. I take that back. Someone used torpedoes on me. It was very smart. And what I love about this game is that even if you have like a, like a lone battleship, you can still compete with all the higher ups. Just quite confusing. And the concept of this is actually real life too, except you can't go through with enemy ships. And this, you can go through and ship so you don't kill them. Right. Which I'm very grateful for the kind of uh, uh, for torpedo there. Where did my torpedo go? Must have fired somewhere. And that person just said that was the most our team is highlighted blue, I'm highlighted green, and the opposing team is highlighted red. Like most teams. As you see right there, there is a opposing team right here. It's best to go in and pair so you don't get killed automatically. Because, see, look over here. This is a carrier ship, if I remember correctly. These are torpedoes. You should avoid them. Like, when I mean avoid, avoid them. You are gonna get shot in the ass. It's kinda... I love this game a lot, except the only bad thing about this computer. If you wanna survive, you should do, like, a league. Uh, you should do it like this. Don't look exactly where you are, but one of the risks doing that is that you can't see the enemy ships from. You can check the mini map, but that's the story. See, so look, I landed a couple hits. From the Destroyers, they have the highest attack and speed, I believe, but the defense is pretty low. And the maneuverability is very high, which is why I enjoy that. So, see, look, it's just best job. Where are you? We can also drop a 
fly man. Very helpful. See that fly man. Jump in over there. Let's see some idiot walks in there. See what this is. I have to tell him. If you hit that, then you can shoot him. Shot him. And that person just sang. Yeah, this person right there, you should shoot them. Except, what takes what's pretty bad about this game is that since there's so many players, it lags quite a bit. And to keep other players from playing, there's a bounty line. There are different types of ships. One, like that Kage I showed you just before. Uh, this one is a destroyer, and there are carrier ships where you can, as the name, carry airplanes, which is pretty cool because they're kind of different. Some special lot, there are some marines in here, and since you have carrier ships, you can specialize in what type of uh, plane you want to carry. See, look, I just sunk that ship. And now I wish to sink that one, but now I want to run away because now I am dying. As you can see here, my life is pretty low, and if I get shot one more time, I am dead. Once again, I see, like, the only bad thing about this game is that you only get one ship per round, and I just got sunk. So, what time is it? Okay. Uh, the good thing about this is you level up pretty quickly. And earning money and experience for the ships are pretty easy to come across. Uh, let me show you. This is the skill tree. I already maxed out for this one. Um, using extra like points, you're allowed to like buy more ships. So which one's this one? A heavy cruiser. A total one. The ship. I never use a heavy cruiser. I enjoy. I have one carrier. Is this is carrier. Uh, ship class. Oh, personal assault. I never use those. I always use like destroyers. Destroyers, in my opinion, are the best. But these guys have more health. You can also add islands if you want. So this would be good for airplane attacks and um, air uh, air drops. This is for uh, against like shells and torpedoes. These are for the side, so that's really helpful. You can go to this. Um, this is basically what I'm going to go to, you guys. Um, even though it says buy, like buy means I don't want to, but. Yeah, see, look, even though it says buy, I'm the high, I'm the high enough level, I can't buy that. I can buy that if I want to. See, look, tenure. Tenure. Uh, do I have that ship? Mm. I don't have this ship, that's surprising. But, as you can see, these are the skill trees. So, I picked a Japanese branch. There's Germany, there's Britain, and then there's America. Japanese, they specialize in speed and attack, while German and Britain, I believe, are the tankier ones. The United States, I can't remember. I think they're like the. Slow, but they have extremely high attack. I'm not sure, but I know Japanese is the fastest one. Uh, let's see. Anything I wish to do? Nope. Uh, you can also hire crews here, which is to me this is very confusing. Uh, 24 hours. Uh, so uh, what's cool about this is that they tell you what they're manning. So look. Uh, Support, which would be in the rear, that would be in the back. Oh, I just realized we could do that. I just realized we could do that. Okay, so I buy. This way I've actually helped me out quite a bit if I... So 
This game is that it actually has like historic boats. They even add the rust features and whatnot. God, this is very well detailed. I swear, I oh, okay. So, this is the battlefield right now. The battlefield varies, so let's see. This one has only two islands, which I am grateful for. Because some of them has like a multiple islands and it's very hard to maneuver if you have like a huge ship. But luckily for destroyers, you can easily maneuver them without getting hurt. I never landed on an island before and I don't know if it damaged it or not. I am not going to test it out unless I'm very low on health and I won't commit suicide. It's not going to happen. I enjoyed my life way too much. See you look. There! Enemy ship spotted right here. Oh, I see. Hey, 
Payback's a bitch. And then Payback's a bitch right now, because right now I am lagging. I am lagging more. Than What I like about this is that you actually have to predict it. It's not versus NPCs, actual players. So, in a way, it's a mobile. In a way. Get Shrek. Four. Come on, four. God damn it, I missed my chance. I have to get close. Torpedoes, while well, they do a lot of damage, they are very slow. I deployed them, right? I deployed them. So, oh, shit. I just saw them. Oh. This is why you shouldn't be blind if you play this game. Oh, Firing these charges. Okay, see, look. Right there. This is where this is how prediction for the battle actually helps you out. But if you're smart, you can actually play this game like in a level one ship. It's like absolutely nothing. You have to be what? Extremely level three, two, extremely skilled, three. Just know what you're doing. Like, for me, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. See, so look, this ship will help. This should kill it first. Uh, and backup alerts coming, which is not a new Enemy ship approaches. And I will stab it. You should always add aim slightly forward. Kind of like in League of Legends when you aim. You're like ult or whatnot. Like for an asteroid. You have to aim. This. Oh, oh. Wait, was that? That hit me. Oh. There we go. Kill him. The decent amount of damage. Uh, wait. Take this one out. Shit, 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 shit. Good luck, have fun. Oh, he died. She okay, looked that one just sang. And those are torpedoes. We must avoid them. Even if we do avoid them, here's the thing, they explode over time. So if you're like if they time it perfectly and you land in the area but you still dodge it, they will explode and hurt you. And they hurt. A lot. Okay, so let's see. It's a 1v1. Fight me, bruh. Shit, he's winning. Oh, he knows what he's doing. Oh, come on! This is 2v1! What happened to fighting like a man? Oh, fuck. Last ditch effort. Uh, eh. Yeah. Okay. Number 29. We're in 300. But that actually helped us quite a bit. And if you saw before, I think we only did 400 before, but now we did dishing out 500. Even though it's 100 more, and it's like not even 50% extra or 100%, it's still very good. So it helps out quite a bit. And hold up, I'm getting messages. Solid. Uh, solid. 
see large turrets which is why I'm not really a fan of the United States boats like no offense heck even China's own boats could probably like run them over zoom out Fimanel is always a good strategy they should have added that in um, uh, That should be a request for Riot to like zoom out a little bit. So your POV isn't that small. Someone put a request for that to Riot. See look, see that map? This map? Path to the violence. Large ar large armored ships are have difficulty. Fired off into the distance, which probably means they are enemies. Oh, they are enemies. Oh, and this the weapon fire rate encounter uh, enemy ships. What's a good thing about this is that they have a warning system for torpedoes. Except, any yeah, iron, no submarines. about this is that we work, most of us work in groups since it's a small idea. See look I oh there we go enemy ship. If it was an ally ship the uh, Okay torpedo and torpedo over here. Shit, missed it. Like, off completely. That was completely off. Uh, I need to learn how to explode them. I don't know how you need to speak a little bit of shit. I have you on the ropes. Haha! <laughs> Sick, motherfucker! Yeah, I'm sorry for whoever's family members were on that ship. Let's war! See, look, if you can memorize where they are and fire into the distance, then you should be able to hit them. See, look, uh, there we go. The only bad thing about it is that they can. Oh shit! There's two of them. Uh oh. Nope, nope. Retreat! 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 Full speed ahead. Run. Run like the wind. Or should I say sail? Like I don't know. Enemy ship and fire. Ooh, nice move. Another destroyer. Enemy. Which is why I don't really like facing them because they easily dish out crap ton of damage and save me. Those enemies, those are enemies. Score. Back off! You are, uh, come on, get torpedoes. Fine, uh, there we go. 
Shields you up 1,000 damage. Yeah, get wrecked. Better run your I shall destroy you and sink you. Aha! Can't run the Nice try. not steal my kill. Back off. Back off. It's mine. It's my kill, you bitch. My kill, bitch. Beg it. Fuck off. See, look, there's one enemy ship right there. So we should be wary and head in that direction. Top full speed ahead. As traps. Let's just set some lines. Just in case someone decides to play cowards. Always be sunk. There we go, enemy ship spotted. The only bad thing about this is that there is different types of bullets, which is sometimes annoying to switch out without realizing. Okay, so how much did it cost again? In order to 1000, but we shall buy that in the next episode. Um, this has been what would you call it? Navy Field 2. So, if you guys want to ever play this game, it's free on Steam, so please go on ahead. It's very well like chosen. There's like 400 plus people on it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane Raider. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was my first time streaming this. So, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Ciao,